Hi Virgo, welcome to your Angel Cod reading for January. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Virgo, I have decided to switch it up this month. If you've seen my past readings, I've done messages from your spirit guides. This month I decided to switch it up and do an Angel Cod reading. So I have been thinking about changing the theme every month to something different, either uh, angel messages, spirit messages, maybe uh, animal, spirit animal messages or divine messages or uh, wisdom of the earth messages. I don't know, something like that. But I may also discontinue the series as it's not getting a lot of views. So if you do like these spiritual based readings, please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. And also the tarot forecast readings, the general readings, don't really get a lot of views either. So I'm thinking also of discontinuing those and just focusing on bi-weekly love readings of some kind. So you can let me know what you think. I enjoy doing all these readings, but I want to give you guys what you would like. Also, I just started the new Element Weekly Forecast readings. And so far, those aren't going too well either. I'm going to give it a try for a couple more weeks. If they don't pick up, then I may just continue that somewhere down the road in the future as the channel progresses and grows and flourishes. I may incorporate those readings back in in the future. So again, leave me comments. Let me know what you think. Um, if you're totally new, you can check out my channel, the types of readings I do, and feel free to comment also if you like to. So Virgo, Virgo, with that being said, let's see what's going on with Virgo. Welcome, Virgo. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you had a wonderful Christmas. Happy New Year. So let's see what your angel team wants to tell you at this time. I'm going to pick three oracles from each deck. And then I'll clarify each card with a tarot card. So all the decks are listed below if you're interested in knowing what decks I'm using. And there's tons of stuff down there in the description box. So feel, feel free to check it out. Decks I'm using, social media links. All your playlists are below also. It's just the love uh, playlist and the general playlist. But all the readings are there. And um, how to reach out for personal reading below. Um, if you'd like to send a gift, tip or donate, anything like that, all that is below. So please feel free to check that out. All right, let's get some messages for Virgo here. I'm going to pull them all first, and then we'll go over all the cards. And then also, Virgo, I do have the Angel Answers deck there. So I want you to think of a concern, a question, or something you may want an answer to, or advice or guidance on. And then I'll pull in Angel Answers and then see what we get for you. So think of something, anything, doesn't matter what it is that you would like to ask your angel team or just ask in general. And then I'll pull one of those for you at the end. All right, so let's, okay. Pulling that one, that one, and one more. Oh, that's too many, Pulling that one. All right, so the decks I have here are the Guardian Angel. The yellow one is the Archangel. And this one here is the Crystal Angels. And the tarot over there that I'm using is the Cosmic Tarot. So they're all listed below if you'd like to know. And just a quick shout out to everybody for supporting the channel, whether you're new or you've just subscribed or you reached out for personal reading, tip, donated, sent a gift. However way you've supported me in the channel is truly, truly appreciated because I couldn't do it without you guys. This would not be possible. So... It really means a lot to me. So thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Let's see what we have for Virgo. And I'll probably read from the book with this. So we have transformation. Transforming something, are we? And we have growth. So now the borders here, you have two green borders. That's the same uh, angel coming through. And now we have support. And I know this is Archangel Michael. So if you're not familiar with uh, angels or you're wondering, gee, I don't know what angels to call upon for support or to ask uh, guidance from, some of these angels here may be uh, helpful to you. So this is green here too from Archangel Raphael. So if you would like to look him up, research him, ask him, you know, pray to him, ask him for help and assistance, you can do that. So the first one we have here is transformation. I'm going to read what it has to say so you can get the full meaning of uh, this card. I gain confidence as I watch my own transformation. 
representing mental and spiritual change, the angel of transformation asks you to consider your progress through life. He reminds you that metamorphosis is vital for growth. Death to a caterpillar is birth to a butterfly. Welcome each new development in your thinking and appreciate your ability to move onward and upward. Like an emerging butterfly, feel the courage to take off and fly. Ask the angel to help you to accept the initial discomfort of change rather than trying to suppress it so that you remain open to new energy. Try different things and, even if you do not like them, look for the positive in each situation. Do not worry if you stumble. Feel the joy of seeing life from a new perspective. So, okay, so here we have growth. So this says, I grow stronger in spirit every day. And my light just flickered. I hope the power doesn't go out. As you progress through life, your experiences can increase and deepen your spiritual understanding of yourself and your place in the universe. Every loving experience feeds your inner being. Even suffering may play a part in your soul's journey by teaching wisdom and compassion. The angel of growth advises you to attend to the spiritual progress. Sit quietly and ask her to show you how you to balance the needs of your body and soul so that you can find the energy to aim for the stars. If you already do a lot of therapy or other work in your on your inner self, the angel counsels you to pause and process what you have learned before you can before continuing. Know that you are progressing at the right pace for you. So this is about inner growth, spiritual growth, uh, learning new things. You know, and that could be transformation here, you know, learning lessons and blessings, overcoming something and, you know, transforming to a whole different kind of person. So now we have Archangel Michael with the blue border. So if you'd like to look up that angel, he's all about healing energy. No, actually he is about, um, about strength and courage and being brave. So we have support here. So let's see, I'll read that card for you. Support. I am lovingly supported by the universe. The angel of support can both give comfort and enable you to realize your plans and dreams. He can boost your positivity and sustain your courage in the same way that stone pillars hold up a temple roof. Either in your mind or out loud, ask the angel for, for the specific support you need. Then release the matter into the hands and trust that he will help you. By believing in him and thinking positive thoughts, you will increase the flow of the universal energy that he sends you. Watch for any sign of help from other people or beneficial circumstances. For example, if you need financial help and someone buys you dinner, thank the angel each time you receive this kind of support. So, so just know you're supported by your friends, your family, your co-workers, the universe, your angels, your spirit team. Uh, if you need help, ask for it. Uh, if you see somebody in need and you want to help them, then reach out. Okay, so what do we have here? Gentleness, Archangel Sandalphon. Be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environments. So this is telling you, you know, not to do anything too uh, conflicting. Just kind of being a peaceful, harmonious energy. You know, not to get in that energy, um, like toxic energy, or that winds you up, or stares you up, or makes you emotional, or something like that. And now we have Beloved One, Archangel Chamuel. I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. So you could have a soulmate here. Uh, or it could just be, you know, finding that connecting with spirit, source, divine energy. How well that resonates for you. So now we have a brilliant idea. And this has been coming out a lot. Archangel Uriel. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. So some kind of idea you've been having, it's Archangel Uriel wants you to know it's brilliant and it's time to take action on that. 
So now we have some crystals here. So if you're interested in crystals, you may want to research these. So we have apophyllite. I'm not even sure if I'm saying that right, but I'll hold it up. So if you want to write it down, you can pause. We have increased support, your positive focus and willingness to receive have opened the doorway to an abundance of help and opportunities. So again, we have support coming in twice here, right next to each other. So you could have like support coming in, like totally surprising you, like out of nowhere for some of you. And now we have Lapaluzzi. I'll hold that up so you can see it. Life-changing epiphany or experience. It's time. It's a time of big and blessed change for you. And God is supporting you each step of the way. And you see the sword there? Kind of reminds me of the Ace of Swords. The sword of truth and clarity. New, you know, victorious new beginnings. Um, again, like an epiphany, aha moment. Open, honest communication. Telling it like it is. Standing up for yourself and cutting away things no longer serving you. Ooh, okay. And then last one here, we have Tiger's Eye. Self-confidence through God confidence. Believe in yourself by believing in God working through you. So believing in yourself, believing, believing in that divine spiritual energy. Um, if you believe in God or whatever you believe in, believing in that, the universe, the spiritual energy, and that you can go through life with that energy through you. All right, so let's get some clarity now. I'm going to pull one tarot for each card. I do ask Virgo if you like how I read. Please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. Like I said, I do a lot of readings right now, but I may focus just on love. I'm not sure yet, but I do, as of now, a, a love connection reading, a singles reading, a sort of like a general forecast reading, and then I do a spiritual-based reading like this, and I also do a weekly element reading. So I'm not sure going forward if I'm just going to concentrate on the love readings and do them bi-weekly. I'm not sure. So again, like I said, you can leave me comments. Let me know what you think. And if you do, you can just check out my channel. And um, if you like what you see, you can feel free to subscribe, like, share, comment, all that great stuff. It'd be greatly, greatly appreciated. Don't forget to hit the bell if you do. All right. So let's get some clarification here for Virgo from their angel. And don't forget to think of your question, your concern. At the end, we'll pull the angel answers for you. Virgo, at this time. I do say at this time because I do consider all my readings timeless. So like I said, if you want to go back and watch past readings, all your playlists are listed below. You see the title catches your eye. I say watch it. Doesn't matter what the date is. It's all energy. Okay. Transformation for Virgo. Let's see what we have. Oh, is my deck upside down? Hmm. Well, we have the Six of Wands in reverse. So you may be in the process here of transforming out of something. Because the Six of Wands is about positive movement forward. It's about success, victory, being triumphant kind of energy. So you may be in that situation right now of overcoming something, going through something, uh, seeing life in a new way, just like having a big transformation in your life. And I think you will get to the Six of Wands energy of the success, victory, feeling happy once again, feeling that transformed energy. I think you're just probably in that process right now. But that transformation is here, and I feel like you're heading in that direction, or you need to. I know a couple of these fell on the floor, so I didn't know they were upside down. But So we have growth, spiritual growth, personal growth, inner growth, um, Growth in your career, uh, in abundance, in material things, in your finances, um, that sort of energy. Always growing, learning, expanding. But we have the Two of Cups in reverse. So, you know, the Two of Cups is about alignment. It's about unity. It's about people seeing eye to eye, peace, har harmony, compassion. Maybe there needs to be more uh, in some of your relationships there needs to be more uh, growth and expansion being in a more loving compassionate energy towards some people here so that this can come back into alignment because the green here does represent the um, heart chakra also so I feel like hearts need to become aligned again but there's a lot of growth 
an expansion that needs to happen between you. Maybe it could be a lover. It could be friends, family here to bring this two of cups upright. And it doesn't have to be lovers. I mean, it can be, can be anybody. And so then now we have support here and we have the ten of swords. So if you're struggling right now, if you're going through something really, really difficult, a painful ending of some kind, and that could be part of the transformation over there, just know you do have support around you. Don't be afraid to reach out. Family, friends, co-workers, um, you know, your angels, spirit team, the universe here, you do have all the support around you through something you may be going through right now that's really painful and difficult here with the Ten of Swords. Or if you know somebody that is in that energy, maybe they could use a helping hand. They could use your support. However these messages resonate for you, not every single thing may resonate, so just take what resonates only. So we have gentleness, Archangel Sandalphon. Be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environments. So if you are going through something painful here, then this totally makes sense to be in this energy. We have the Eight of Pentacles. So this is about working hard, putting in the dedicated effort. So, you know, maybe you con you're concentrated on work right now, on your career, working on yourself, on your transformation, or trying to get through something, you know, working to get through something also with that Ten of Swords over there. But it's also reminding you as hot as you're working to take time for you and be gentle with yourself and nurture and care and pamper yourself also. And don't get too caught up in um, toxic environments also. Be in that stable, grounded energy. Now we have Beloved One, Archangel Chamiel. I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. So we have the Four of Cups. So if you are in uh, involved with somebody and it's just kind of like it's not going anywhere right now, it's kind of like feeling bored and blah and, you know, not sure what's going on, um, Archangel Chamiel is helping in this relationship. So things might change here, but whatever is meant to be is probably meant to happen right now. And your angel team is trying to help you in this right here. If you're confused or you just don't know what's going on. They are doing things behind the scenes, I think, that you don't know of. So you may get some surprises. So we have Brilliant Idea, Archangel Uriel. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. So we have the Four of Swords. So the Four of Swords is just kind of, you know, goes in retreat mode and thinking and contemplating and not really taking any action. So if you're not taking any action on a brilliant idea, if you're just thinking about it, contemplating about it, Archangel Uriel is telling you to take action. So to come out of that Four of Swords energy of just, you know, not doing anything and just thinking, contemplating about it, it's time to actually bring it into fruition. So we have here Epiphylite. Epiphylite. I don't know how to say I don't know how to say that. Increase support. Your positive focus and willingness to receive have opened the doorway to an abundance of help and opportunities. So again, you got support twice, like I said. So you may have unexpected support coming in for you if you are going through something really painful or difficult right now. Sorry, I just need to drink. My throat's getting very scratchy. Princess of Swords. So this is the Page of Swords. So this is open, honest, truthful communication. Um, somebody may be watching you and they see that you're going through a very difficult time right now. So you may get support from people that you never expected it from. I think there may be people watching you that may come in and be very open and honest and say, look, I notice what you're going through. I want to help. I want to you know, support you in some way, and you may be like totally shocked by that. Maybe the last person you expect may come forward and uh, want to lend a helping hand in some way. So we have Lapaluzzi. I, I think that's how you say it. Life-changing epiphany or experience. It's a time of big and blessed change for you, and God is supporting you each step of the way. And we have the Two of Pentacles. So you know, this is juggling things around, trying to balance things out, uh, trying to make decisions here. So you may be going through something and feeling a little off kilter, a little off balanced, and not quite sure what's going on, what decisions to make. 
but I think here um, things will like just light up for you. You will have like this big epiphany aha moment and then you're going to know exactly what to do so that you see that sword, that divine sword coming through here. So something I feel will be reve revealed to you in some way that will cause you not to juggle so much and make you form feel more balanced or something may just come to light or something like that. Tiger's eye, self-confidence through God confidence. Believe in yourself by believing in God working through you. We have the nine of wands. So this is telling you to be confident, strong, courageous, and brave. Not to give up, to keep fighting, keep moving on, keep moving forward. You know, to keep persevering on. This is the nine of wands, the wounded warrior, the fighter, the soldier. Doesn't give up. They keep going when they need to. So, you know, just having that God confidence, the self-confidence that you can keep moving and going on with the help and support of the universe, the spiritual team, angel team, God, whoever you believe in, will help you get through difficult times here to keep moving on and having that strength and bravery. Did you see the lion there? Wow. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Ten of cups. So total happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way coming into your life. Three of wands. It may take a minute here. You may not see it coming and then boom, all of a sudden, and look at that tower, boom, all of a sudden, boom, all of a sudden, when you're least expecting it, <laughs> all of a sudden, some kind of happiness, joy, fulfillment in your life in every single way comes in for you with the Ten of Cups energy. Okay. And that could be that epiphany and life changing experience. So something here. So however that makes sense for you. So let's see Virgo. Virgo, and I didn't see that tower card when I said boom, so spirit had me say that, or the our angel team, and um, and then there it was. So, okay, Virgo, 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 let's get a card pertaining to what you're thinking of, your question, or <coughs> what you need advice on. Spirit team, angel team. Can we have one card for Virgo at this time? Most needed for Virgo. Please, thank you so much. And we have choose a new direction. So yeah, some of you I feel are going through a painful ending and you need to move forward to transform through that. Whatever brilliant idea you have over here. Also, going in that direction and not to give up, to keep moving on. Whatever you're stuck in now, I think if you're having difficulty choosing a new direction, it's really telling you to follow your gut, your intuition, and go in a direction you feel. Because it almost feels like divinely guided energy here in recovery. So you can recover from whatever you're going through. You will recover once you go into a new direction, Virgo. Best of luck to you, Virgo. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, to always, always shine your light.